Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and today we've come to Winterton on the Norfolk coast to film the grey seals. Let's take a look at the footage. Every winter, thousands of grey seals haul themselves out onto the beaches along our coastline to mate, give birth and for the females to rear their pups. During this time the seals may appear to be relaxing on the beach and frolicking in the waves, but all is not as it seems. In order to win the right to mate, the males, which are known as bulls and can grow to more than 250 kilos, compete with each other to claim a space on the beach. Most of the time this doesn't result in physical conflict, the bulls flare their teeth at each other, they turn their bodies sideways to appear bigger and slap their bellies onto the ground to show how powerful they are. When this is not enough, the only way to make your point is to fight, and despite their cuddly appearance, grey seals are ferocious fighters. Their flippers are useless in these battles, but the seals sharp teeth and powerful jaws are as good at cutting flesh as they are at catching fish. These bulls are young and seem to be practicing rather than fighting for real, however many of the larger seals on the beach show signs of having been in much more serious fights. This bull has a deep 3 inch gash on its back that was probably caused by another male. Aside from this wound he looks healthy but some of the other bulls do not. This one looks like it's taken a right beating and is covered in scars and fresh blood. Once the females have mated, they delay in planting their eggs for 3 months, after which they are pregnant for 9 months and then they give birth to a single white pup. Newborn pups weigh around 14 kilos, but they grow fast. Their mother's milk is 60% fat, resulting in them gaining 2 kilos every day. They are only fed by their mothers for 3 weeks, after which she abandons them and heads back out to the sea. The pups are not waterproof at this point and so must spend another 3 weeks on the beach shedding their white fur. During this time it's best for the pups to laze about and preserve their energy, but we did see one that had decided to take a wonder. Once the pups have shed all their white fur, they are now waterproof and are ready to take the plunge and make their way out to sea. They have never been into the water before, but now they must rely entirely on their instincts to catch enough food to survive. This is mainly fish and shellfish. In the face of such a feat, it is no surprise that around half of all grey seal pups do not survive for their first 18 months at sea. I am a strong believer that people should be able to see and enjoy wildlife, but if you do visit the grey seals, please do so responsibly. It is good advice to keep a good distance from the seals and definitely not to get too close if you have dogs with you. Grey seals are frequently attacked by dogs so it's best for them to keep their natural fear of our canine friends. Well that's all we've got time for in today's video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you might also enjoy some of the other wildlife videos on my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.